<laughs> okay? No, no hard beats. And one other little thing about parades and such. If anybody throws one of those darn hard cups at me, I'm coming after you. Had my head split open two years ago with that sucker and I had forgot it since. I believe our king and queen have a little something to sing for us. No, I don't sing, but the woman wants the last word. We've been doing a lot of back and forth bashing. But any of you who know me know I was very nervous about thinking what was lying ahead when I found out I was queen. And I, in all seriousness, want to say that I think the best collection of intelligent, good-looking, caring, and sensitive guys is here at Rainbow Plantation. My ladies, the wine kind of help you along. <laughs> Most especially, I want to thank King Daryl for leading me by the hand and setting the stage and making me feel very relaxed and um, give it to all to you, Daryl, to all your credit. Nice. One thing my wife never, ever, ever heard thought she would hear me say is, man, I can't wait to get out of these tights. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank the committee. They did a great job. All the people that put together the skits, they were hilarious. We really enjoyed it. I had two great pages, did I not? Yeah. Yeah. Great costumes and they took care of us. But especially, uh, thank you, Ruth. And thank my queen. She did a fabulous job. So until next year, God bless. We have a couple of little things that we still need to take care of. If you look around the room, you see a lot of people are dressed kind of cute. And we do still have a costume judging contest that we need to take care of. Guess what? Their musicians are sleepy. <laughs> we'll do it if you want to do it. Otherwise they said we've had so much fun, they, they, they we wore them out. We have absolutely wore them out. Uh, can I have all those that are interested in participating in the contest?